You know, I have to be honest, um, I feel extremely blessed and I am absolutely thankful to be alive today, to be able to experience what will be, I promise you, looked back upon in the future as being a golden age of the automobile. I mean, history will look back, automotive history will look back on the early 21st century as when we went from pushrod V8s <laughs> to all electric cars where things evolved mostly for the better. I mean, yes, I know that, you know, the last couple of years have been absolute poop for almost all of us, if not all of us, except for billionaires, maybe. <laughs> but, um, and yeah, there are a lot of reasons why the automotive industry is in big trouble right now too. You know, chip shortages, production problems, increasing costs. But despite all that, these are the good days. And I'm actually feeling nostalgic this week about this golden era of the automobile as I drive around, as I drive around in this 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. It's a mouthful, but it's a hell of a car. I mean, look, as it is, as you see it right now, it'll never be like this again. Hey, this is the end of this era. But I can promise you one thing, or at least I hope I'm right. Stellantis will never, ever dump the Charger name. It's just too good to affix on a performance sedan, coupe, or possibly five-door hatchback, not an SUV, as cars, as these American muscle cars evolve into electrification and become hyper-powerful EVs. The Dodge Charger will live on. It'll just never be like this though. This one, this one is really, really special. And it's, it's quite unique and um, expensive and fast and loud and anyhow, apologies. <laughs> We'll do a, a quick walk around. This one's gonna take a little bit longer because the car is a little bit wider than your typical charger. And then uh, we're gonna make a lot of noise. And uh, I can tell you right now, respect the Hellcat Red Eye. You have to respect the Hellcat Red Eye. The key element to this charger Hellcat Red Eye is, well, quite obviously the wide body. Uh, it is in fact, this car, 8.8 centimeters. That's uh, just about three and a half inches wider than your typical, my goodness, eh? look at that face, <laughs> than the regular charger. It just looks absolutely, it's breathtaking. It's, it's exceptional. Oh, and, and the paint job on this, a smoke show, it's, it's just, um, it's a match made in heaven. Um, and the funny thing is, I, as I now spent five days with the car, you know, walking around it and soaking it in, I realized that the Challenger wide body doesn't look as together and right as the Charger wide body. This seems like, it looks like someone drew this car. It was drawn this way, you know, like everything's exaggerated, the wheels, the arches, the, the hood, everything. I'm not saying it's cartoonish, I'm just saying it's the type of body style or design you dream about. And well, here it is. So yeah, obviously the wide body includes the aforementioned flares and a bunch of other little features. The SRT Hellcat, well, includes the 20 inch wheels. Those are 20 by 11s, by the way, with 305 section tires. Uh, you get the Brembo brakes, which you kind of see here. I'm kind of selling it before I give you pricing information. Not that it really matters. Six piston up front, Brembos, by the way, and uh, four piston in the back. Uh, I, I'd never ever tire of staring at this car. And um, honestly, this is kind of terrible to say in a way, but old men absolutely love it. And when I say terrible to say, it's because I guess that makes me an old man. But I've gotten so many thumbs up from bald guys and graying guys uh, about the styling and the color. I mean, that's essentially who this car was built for. Not that they would buy a $103,545, that's Canadian, Charger SRT Hellcat Wide Body Red Eye. 
but they absolutely love it. So it's just, uh, I kind of gave it away there. Base price for a charger is $38,395, but it has nothing to do, or pretty much nothing to do with this car. In the US, pricing starts at $30,755. Whereas this SRT wide body Hellcat Red Eye, you can put those words in the order you please, by the way, if you buy one, uh, you can do whatever you want, is only $81,455. Yeah, that kind of hurts. I get it. Uh, look, standard equipment is fairly comprehensive in this car. 8.4 inch U-Connect, Laguna leather, heated cooled seats, uh, and on and on and on. Uh, my tester, incredibly, has only one option, and it's U-Connect Navi, which is like a $795 option, if I'm not mistaken. So you're looking at $104,300 of absolute pure madness. And I don't know that there's any reason to open a trunk. I mean, this is... Uh, it's probably like a four and a half body trunk. Silly thing, I know. Well, look, if you want to know what it looks like in there, well, let's just soak in that badge. Oh, actually, we're not done looking at badges. Trunk. There you go. Happy? I know I am. Okay, let's look at the badges. Yes. If you're not sure, you're looking at a red eye wide body. There's the dead giveaway right there. <laughs> it's bejeweled. Okay, so uh, uh, I think I said Laguna Red Leather. Kids are loving the noise. They just want me to slap it in neutral and rev it up all the time. And I can't blame them. And silly me, I do it all the time. I think I just said Laguna Red Leather. It's not like you haven't seen the interior of a Charger in the past. Um, oh, it's specific. Once you get up to, you know, SRT business. Oh, there it is. There's the red eye again. You know, the red back gauges. Uh, oh, look at that. I happen to be right in the SRT pages. There's the launch mode. And uh, yeah, here's what's important. I guess that pretty much sums it up. You have your activate line lock buttons, the racing options, the performance pages for lap times and all that. Of the various drive modes, auto is your default mode. I like custom. Where I set uh, the suspension on street. Everything is essentially on street except for the transmission. And obviously, let's go back to that. I want the full power. Uh, there's nothing else to say about the interior, I guess. Oh, well, here's another little hint that it's not your typical Hellcat. And uh, with that, uh, we will go for a drive. Okay, now when I say respect the Hellcat Red Eye, I am well, alluding to two things. Now, the first thing is, well, with the Red Eye, you don't get all-wheel drive, obviously. You don't get it in a Charger or the Challenger with the Hellcat, but you do in the Durango SRT Hellcat, which I drove only very recently. The way the all-wheel drive system just takes all of that power and puts it to good use is insane. It's unbelievable. I mean, zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds, in, in the Durango and so there's that there's the all-wheel drive the other is that well this vehicle as has 87 more horsepower 57 pound-feet of extra torque which are all sent only to the rear wheels so what I'm trying to say is that look 0 to 60 is about 4 seconds in this thing a quarter mile is gone in like I think 10.6 seconds I have to check my my numbers because this car really really gets to me I, I may have may have shown that in uh, the last few minutes of the video um, but the crazy thing is that unless you're hooked up or doing a reasonable amount of speed this thing doesn't feel as fast or as demonic how about that as the Durango does, which is insane. So th this is what I mean. I, I've partially launched this thing from a near standstill. Like I was rolling at maybe 10 kilometers an hour. And well, the only thing that really happens, and this is just in my custom mode with the transmission set to sport and the full 797 HP available to me. And all the traction and driving aids are still on. And I mean, the poor drive line, the poor system, the poor tires, they can, they can barely do anything with the power. But if you happen to have, say, 0 0.07 degrees of steering angle in, you know, if you're not perfectly straight, 
the rear end will kick out. It's this is what I mean. Respect the Hellcat Red Eye. So look, uh, concretely 797 horsepower at 6,300 RPM, just 200 RPM short of the red line, 707 pound-feet of torque. I think it's 4,300 RPM. Um, this car is insanely fast and uh, loud and scary and <laughs> it it's just bad news like the Durango when you're in traffic but the thing is that if you can keep your foot you know above say 11% throttle <laughs> this thing is unbelievably civilized and one of the best things about this SRT is that it does have the Bilstein adjustable dampers. I showed you everything is set to street, including dampers, which means that the ride quality is actually good. I mean, there's nothing to do about the weight and the size of this car. In fact, I think, I think it's a welcomed element in the driving experience because all that power has to be in something this big. I mean, that massive bonnet up ahead and the big bulge in it, oh it's such an experience and there's so much traffic i can't nail it which is probably a good thing for my driver's license <laughs> but uh look the the, the brakes the brakes I, I mentioned the brakes i mean this thing is is well equipped to handle all that kind of power though i i have to assume that if you're going to track your hellcat red eye uh you might run out of braking power after a lap or two because there is, once again, so much weight. One of the things that amazes me the most about this car is the eight-speed automatic transmission. I, frankly, don't know how it puts up with this kind of power. I mean, there's obviously something going on internally because when it's cold, it's a little jerky and a little sharp on the upshifts, and it, it's kind of like, showing the driver that don't rush me I'm warming up and then we'll have a great time because when everything is warm this son of a the 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 speed at which it reacts and this isn't sport not track eh? <laughs> eh it's unbelievable and and normal speeds it just glides or nearly from gear to gear but if you're mildly aggressive it loves to play hard and playing hard when you put it in manual mode under throttle the downshifts are so quick i mean a car like this shouldn't be like that or this sharp i don't know uh, that noise too is just intoxicating but yeah sometimes like lower speed downshifts you think that or I, at least I feel like I'm going to leave a few gears behind. There are going to be teeth all over the underside of the car and on the pavement. But no, it just it just keeps begging for more. Uh, I mean, look, I said it. This is the golden age. This is an era that we'll look back upon as, as the good old days of automotive driving and, and cars. And this and other Stellantis psychotic monsters, anything SRT slash Hellcat and Red Eye um, may very well be, I mean, the pinnacle of the insanity that is the last remaining supercharged, high-powered, or even naturally aspirated V8 engines. Good Lord. Oh, and the people respect you on the road in this thing. I'll tell you that much. Ha, ha, ha.